Mr. Brendan Wardell! Yeah, Brendan! Hi. I, uh, so I'm not like a classically handsome guy, like I'm not some sort of pretty boy or whatever. I don't think I'm like bad looking. I'm just like in my own weird, unique lane. Like I, I look like what a Japanese businessman jerks off to. That's, that's what I, I, um, I, uh, I recently turned 20. Uh, that, that's not like an applause. One. I, uh, I, uh, I turned 20 and I'm like sort of coming to terms with the fact that like, this is, I'm not gonna grow much more. So it comes to terms with the fact that I'm never gonna grow a beard. At best I can grow like one of those like pedo stashes. <laughs> so I have like two choices really. I can either, I can either, like depending on where I am, like in the shaving cycle, I either look like a pedophile or one of his victims. That's basically, <laughs> basically it. I, uh, recently somebody uh, outside of my school, they, uh, they spray painted the words no gay zone side of my school, which uh, was really weird for my friend Eddie Gayzone. <laughs> I, uh, I just found this like uh, this early '90s Game Boy fanny pack like in my basement, and uh, I like when I when I found it, I was like, "Oh man, what a hilarious item! Like, what if I wore this as a joke?" And I was like wearing it, and then I realized like this is hella convenient. This is the best. Everyone should wear a fanny pack. They're the best. I can't express it enough. But uh, like when you're like walking around wearing a fanny pack, people look at you like you're mentally ill. Like people just people judge so hard. Uh, but I just want to like embrace that and just like walk around. Like, just with a fanny pack full of mashed potatoes. It's <laughs> like rubbing it on my face. Just... Alright. Oh! Uh, I... I thought it was funny. I didn't give it credit for her. Whatever. I think we're on good terms still. I think we still... We still like each other. Right? That's... I, uh... <laughs> I, was at a, I was at a Drake concert recently. And, uh... There was, like, one point at the show where he was like, uh... A lot of people out there, they say, uh, they say I make music for women. You know what? Hell yeah, I make music for women. I don't make music for little girls. I don't make music for bitches. I make music for women. And uh, then a few minutes later, Walk a Flock of Flame comes out. And uh, they go into that song that's like, Round of applause, baby, make that ass. Wait. Round of applause, baby, make that ass clap. Drop it to the floor, make that ass clap. Let me see you. Buss it, buss it, buss it, buss it, buss it, buss it, baby, drop it to the floor and buss it, buss it, buss it, buss it, buss it, buss it, buss it like you can't afford a car. You a star. You look in the mirror, you know who you are, right? Cool. What if I just did the whole song? What if that was the rest of my song? Uh, but it was like weird because like he did this like feminist rant. And then did like a booty clap anthem, and uh, they didn't really like they didn't really acknowledge it. So like I wish I wish when Drake was like I don't make music for bitches. I wish Waka just ran out like I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Two Chains opened that show. The rapper uh, the rapper Two Chains. He's like really he's like really been blowing up lately. But uh, for years he called himself Titty Boy. <laughs> he's old, uh, his old rap name was Titty Boy, and uh, I just imagine he changed it just because he was tired of being like, uh, no, no, guys, I, I like titties, I don't have titties. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> listening to this, uh, this old Big Sean mixtape, and uh, there's, like, there's like a couple songs where he just stops in the middle, he just doesn't finish the song, and he's just like, you gotta wait for the album. And uh, then you listen to the album and it's not there. Like, it's just not on the album at all. And uh, I was gonna write like a really funny punchline to that joke, but you have to wait for my album. <laughs> um, all of those guys uh, say the N-word like a lot, which I would obviously never do, but just like a tip, just a tip for you all, uh, the N-word is a really good password.
<laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a shitty username, though. Don't. <laughs> I, uh, I've, like, I've had the internet since I was, like, very young, and it, what's, what's weird is, like, all, like, all little kids have, like, weird theories about how babies are made, like, myself and a lot of people thought, like, oh, yeah, you, like, pee into a girl's butt. And then a baby comes out later. Uh, and what's weird is like now, with like the internet, somebody can just search like guy pees into girl's butt, and that kid can just be like, see? That's. What did I tell you? Science. I, uh. Like a lot of. There are a lot of like. Um, this is a weird story, but there's, there's a lot of like poor, like, Southern Republicans, like, poor people that are gonna vote for Mitt Romney, and, like, I, I get that just because I listen to, like, a lot of materialistic rap, and, like, my, like, it's, like, the same mentality, because it's, like, oh, I don't relate to this guy, like, right now, but, I mean, like, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Are any of you like bad at multitasking? Is anybody bad at I'm like the worst at multitasking. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, I, uh, like the other day, I was like, uh, I was trying to brush my teeth and uh, take a shower at the same time, and uh, I accidentally sucked my own dick. <laughs> well, fellas know what I'm talking about. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I'm setting up a uh, merch table. By the way, I'm uh, I'm gonna be selling car fresheners that look like handicapped parking permits. <laughs> so, I uh, no, but like I I am I am like a, I am I am like a really great artist. Like I. I I was just thinking, like, I'm, I'm very, just like, very, like, post postmodernism, very, like, post internet, post flashlight, you know, just like. <laughs> it's, <laughs> and it's like, it's an honor for you guys to just like. But, um, anyway, like, I, uh, I, I was just thinking, like, you know, a lot of people say Jews control the media, but, uh, something I've always said is, uh, blacks control the media. <laughs> No, thank you. I, what if I just jumped off of that? <laughs> I, uh... I, uh... Um, I recently uh, started volunteering at a uh, sexual abuse hotline. And uh, something I found is a uh, molestation, mo problems. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, I'm gonna pull my phone out first. I just wanna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I've given you a quality show. Don't. Guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I, uh, I wanna just figure out what I'm gonna close it It's. Look, this wall that's happening right now, just in like, it's, whatever. Don't get mad at me. It's fun. <laughs> I, uh, I think the computer's like the only appliance you can jerk off in front of. <laughs> like, it's, it's weird if somebody walks in on you, but it's not like, it's not toaster weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't think any man with an internet username ending in 69 is, like, ever actually 69. <laughs> like, I don't think Dragon Slayer 69 is drowning in pussy. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably fine. You're not fooling anybody, sex haver 69. That's, <laughs> I, uh, I recently saw this, uh, this, this butterfly, and uh, on its lower back was a tattoo of a slutty 18-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Brandon Wardell, thanks, bye. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon! Woo! Woo!
Thank <laughs> you.